Hey guys, so got a lot of good feedback on the back stall video that I posted yesterday. And I think it was actually one of the tricks that someone asked me to do a trick video on a long time ago. So it's in my list somewhere, or that might've been a foot stall, but either way, I'm gonna do the back stall. Um, so it seems like a lot of people were very mystified by this behavior. It's actually a fairly easy behavior, I think, to teach as long as you have a couple prerequisites. So the first thing first is that your dog needs to know how to get up on something on cue. Second thing is your dog needs to have a very solid idea of the release because I personally like to release my dog before I reinforce them for the whole chain. Um, I think I did do a little bit of feeding in position with Seth, but it is very hard to coordinate and it leads to more chance of the dog falling off of you. So if your dog just understands this concept of stay until release, then it's actually really probably the safer way to be reinforcing the dog for this behavior. And then lastly, your dog has to be comfortable on unstable surfaces. You have to be comfortable with bearing their weight. So if you're not confident that you can handle that, then that's something to work on physically yourself too. And then obviously there are gonna be dogs that are just really big and it's gonna be hard for them. Not saying that they can't do it, but it's gonna be a harder behavior for dogs that are very long. So if you do have a long behaved dog and you would like to teach this trick, um, you're gonna to have to also do the additional step of teaching them to be able to balance in a smaller container. So like essentially being able to perch with their legs very close together. If anyone remembers like that paint can challenge from a while ago, something like that. It doesn't have to be quite as small as a paint can, but you know, if you've got a mountain wall that's this long and they need to be able to hang out on your back, which is this long, then you're gonna to have to teach them to be comfortable for a certain amount of time there. So first things first, Seth is ready to get ready. So Seth is very comfortable with duration on this wobbly surface, right? Free. And if your dog doesn't, have a balance disc or if you don't have a balance disc and I don't know what's going anywhere going shopping anytime soon for something like this because of COVID-19 then use what you have you can always use a like a cushion like a couch cushion would be a good option Step up. so that's the first thing right is like can I introduce some mild stability this dog could not be more unfazed he thinks this is just a big old game. Free. And for some dogs, that might be a step to get over. So it might be like a couple sessions of just working on building confidence in this sense. Right? Free. So you could start out with just one. I'm not going to, I think. Most dogs are probably, if you're considering this trick for yourself, more than capable of jumping onto the, the single climb. You're starting to ask now for more height, right? So set, sit, stay. Pull this out a little bit. Go. Set up. Right, so can your dog comfortably jump? And this is honestly higher than he really needs to jump for me, but again, prepare accordingly. So. If your dog is young, you might not even be having them do the release. So if your dog is under two years old or definitely under 18 months old, you probably want to offload them onto like a ramp essentially. So your dog can learn to jump onto your back and then walk onto something like a porch or jump off onto your back and then walk onto something like the climb so that they're not putting impact on their shoulders when they jump down. Um, because I'm not in the grass, it's rainy today, I'm going to actually try to do my best to release my dog as much as possible through carrying him. I'm not gonna do too many repetitions. He wants to jump off, but it's not really great for him. So I'm gonna do one more repetition of that. Set up. Good job, stay. Right, you can ask for a stay. Free. Good boy. Okay. Okay. He definitely doesn't prefer to be carried down. Okay. Set. Up. 
Good boy. Great. Good job. And again, if you don't have climbs, you absolutely don't need climbs. You can use a coffee table. Um, you could use a side table. You could use your own dining table. Depends on how tall it is. Free. Come on. I know, buddy. We were in the grass, and we just like to jump on the grass. Good boy. Yeah, and I'm here to hold this because, of course, this is not really stable here. Good job. Great. Good. If you have those two foundations, you're kind of ready to move on to actually trying to move the real back stall. So here's how it might go. Or at least here's how I did it. You're going to want to wear something that is relatively um, padded and not slippery. So nothing like a vinyl, rain jacket, waterproofy type material, not the greatest for this. And for obvious reasons, I recommend that your dog's nails be trimmed and that you um, don't wear anything too precious, right? Because your dog's nails are gonna dig into it. And if you're wearing like a really nice knitted sweater, it's gonna be destroyed. So you want something pretty sturdy, with a little bit of texture for the dog, a little bit of grip, nothing too slippery. And how I first did this is I worked on it just with me in a crawling position. So, let's sit, stay, sit, up, up, free. And if your dog is a little bit like um, unsteady, like he was definitely unsteady just there, then just release them, right? So I'm trying to get the dog to understand up and then release. I don't really care if the duration isn't there yet. Just so, move back here. Ready? Stay. Up, up. Free. Good boy. Up, up. Good boy. Right, so I'm just using a lure. Free. Good job. And if you have a mirror, even better. I don't have a mirror in here, but if you had a pair, a full-length mirror to use in front of, that'll help a lot. Stay. So lure right here. Up up. Good job. So now what you can try to do is start to increase the height of it. You're gonna kneel, you can use your hands to help you brace if you want. Step up, up, pull, and if he misses, that's okay. I'm gonna help him, free, which is what the climb is for. Free, boy, nice job. Step up, up, free. Why don't you offload onto the climb, buddy? Free. Good job. Give you a pay there, which might help your dog understand the goal. Up, up. 